Hi there, Renee Asse of Lowell, Massachusetts, and detachment. Day three of my novena to St. Andre Bisset. Detaching yourself from things so you can attach yourself to God. And this matters a lot to me because a year ago, I detached myself from Twitter. I had my last straw there with the algorithms, with Elon Musk, with people who I trusted being shady and engaging in, I found out, repulsive behavior. And I snapped. And I did the right thing. I immediately left social media. But my heart and my mind were still in the algorithm. Instead of taking a clear and easy sabbatical, I got angry, bitter, and mad. And I made some videos that were not the best of me. And I might have been mistaken in some of these videos, right? Which is totally embarrassing. But I was right in just in my anger and bitterness. I just didn't handle it well because I wasn't fully attached back to God again. I was just detached from social media and I was just angry and bitter. And I've never been that angry and bitter in my life. Um, so it comes back to the issues that we're seeing as women, as Catholic women. Um, you're seeing problems on the left. I talk about that, right? But I'm not trying to exploit it for clickbait. But there's problems, equal problems on the right as well, guys. And we shouldn't be fools for it as Catholics, as Catholic women. And I, to those who appreciate and enjoy the Latin Mass, you have to understand these people on the right are misusing and perverting the Latin Mass for their political purposes. As Catholics, we shouldn't take abuse on the left, right? People are like, oh, you can't vote for the Democratic Party based on certain um, things of their platform because of dark money. The same thing's happening on the right. The right is assuming or making that we are just going to blindly vote for them because they're like the lesser evil. And they're not the lesser evil. They're just as evil, but just in a different form. Look at Donald Trump. We do not need to take the abuse. I could see back in 2016, holding your nose, you voted for him. I actually, in 2016, I thought he was initially running to help the Democrats because he was friends with the Clintons. Come on, guys. But, you know, they're like, we need to pray for Western civilization. We need to pray. Of course, I pray for this country, by the way. I love America as much as anybody else. But they are not offering us America. These people on the right, they're offering their own form of authoritativism. There's authoritativeness on the wokeism, but this anti-woke stuff is just as authoritative in its own different evil way. I detached myself from social media. I detached myself, but my heart and mind was still in that algorithm. I didn't fully attach myself to God. And I was trying to attach myself to God in those months. I was, you know, like, it wasn't like I wasn't trying. Like, I was praying after I left Twitter a year ago. And it was just going nowhere. It was kind of scary. Like, no, but my prayers were not helping whatsoever. And I was actually praying to Andre Bissett about six months ago. Please let this go, God. Please detach myself from all this evil. The evil that I was seeing on Twitter from the right. These people are not good people. They're exploiting us. They think we're fools. I think we're stupid. I'm just of average intelligence, by the way. But, you know, I could see anybody who could get caught up in this as well. I know, so I pray. Yes, detach yourselves from this polarizing culture war. Attach yourself to God. And it's going to be hard. You're going to be so caught up. I guess I'm so caught up right now. You need it to... Before you like calm down, you need, you need to attach yourself to God. And I've been trying. That was so hard last summer. It was so hard to attach myself to God. I detached myself. From social media and Twitter and all those horrible people. But I hadn't attached myself to God yet. I love you all.